In my last video, I built a good part of this mountain, and boy is my world looking a lot more like the valley it's intended to be. But let me show you guys something I've been working on since the last episode. Roll the intro time lapse. Hey there, how's it going? My name is Antler Boy, and welcome as always to my survival world, where I do things you probably shouldn't attempt to do in survival mode. I certainly hope everyone has had a Merry Christmas or otherwise amazing holiday season. I just went outside to throw some snowballs with my brother, which was great fun, so I hope you all had a really nice time with your family and stayed safe. In this time lapse, I just spontaneously decided to listen to a podcast and spent about an hour or so working on this cliff face. In the future, I'd like there to be a cliff on the other side of this pathway, so it'll be in sort of a ravine or crevice, and probably build some rope bridges of very questionable structural integrity over top it. So in the last episode, I built for 24 hours and I started building this huge mountain on the other side and it's really coming together. I really feel like the other side is starting to give glimpses of the fact that it might be as great as this side in the future. In fact, honestly, I'm thinking it could be even greater because I really feel like I upped my game with the terraforming and it's, it's going to be fantastic. So really quick, I'd like to go over what my plans are a little bit for the future here. So with this little area over here that's in between the vineyard and the rest of the village on this side, I think I'd just like to build houses going all the way over here. Maybe build a little bit of a greenhouse or something that belongs to the vineyard in between. But in general, just have a path coming this way, have maybe a larger house here, greenhouse there, and a bit of a smaller diagonal house right there. So with a lot of these areas on the mid tiers right here, I'm thinking of making more fields because I think it'll create more congruency with this side over here and just overall look great to have all the pink and red and possibly even the sunflowers over here somewhere. So overall, I'm unsure whether I want to put a house right here or just build a tree and have fields around it or something. Something that I am completely sure about, however, is that this pathway over here that comes around the mountain pass right here is going to go all the way around here and connect up over there to this path. But the finer details of what's going on these mid levels over here is pretty much going to be something like this. It's going to be like a village. I feel like that is going to fall into place with time. Something I'm pretty excited about, though, is this area that's lit up over here because we're actually spilling out of the mushroom biome. And what this is going to be right here, it looks pretty strange right now. I just want this to be a bit of a tunnel to get from one side of the mountain here to the other. Just a more fun way to get through the kingdom to not have just path, path, path and nothing interesting. But coming through here is actually this stuff that I worked on in the intro just now. And I want this to be on the other side as well so that you're going through this little bit of a ravine and I'm not exactly sure how to explain to you guys what I'm planning here but I want a few peaks I want this one right here to perhaps be taller than the two that are right here so yeah coming up in between here having it be about that tall and then having this go down into another peak as kind of a backdrop for this area and then these fields over here and this slope will come down all the way around the mountains and stuff that's going to be right here that portal right there is spawn and what I plan to do with this area over here this giant field is maybe build a traveling circus some tournament grounds where you would have jousting competitions and horse races just a bunch of medieval tents i think that's going to be really really cool and then what i have in store over here it's going to be a huge project like the biggest one yet so that's coming up when this area is looking a little bit more done so look forward to that one but getting back over here, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do with this side because over on this side, I have this huge castle and sort of the centerpiece to the whole kingdom. And it would feel sort of weird if I did something as grand on this side. So I feel like the peak is just enough, but I want to do something. And I figured since I have the church on this side and the fact that there's going to be a probably multi-tiered cemetery here going up, I've decided to make a mountaintop monastery. And obviously I need to keep terraforming, but that's what I'm going to be doing with this area right here. So guys, tell me if you think those are some good ideas. I have a lot more that I just don't feel like listing over and over because this is going to be a several minute long list in that case. But give me your opinions on those ideas and let's carry on. So in this episode, I would like to do something that I really need to start doing more. 
and that is doing some interior decorating. And a few episodes ago, I built this awesome church that's on a diagonal, and that's gonna make it really difficult to interior decorate it. And as you can see at the moment, it is looking pretty empty in here. Admittedly though, the sunset looks really cool. This place clearly needs a mega makeover. So that's what we're gonna try to do. It's super difficult to try to get any footage of interior decorating on replay mod, but this space is pretty empty. So I think I can make something work. So let me get some materials in order and we can kick off the time lapse. Oh yeah. Right, I just spent a ton of time building that interior, so I am really excited to show you guys exactly what I put together over here. And it is really difficult to show interiors with replay mod, but I feel like I could show this part fairly well. And now that I'm looking at it, it looks pretty strange when these leaves are flowing in the wind indoors. And yeah, that makes a bit more sense now that they're not waving in the wind. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it when trees out here are waving in the wind, but it just doesn't make any sense at all for these. Anyway, I don't know what got into me. I am a 22 year old guy, so it's not like marriage is exactly, ooh, I just realized those are flowing in the wind right now too. So uh, that's just as weird as the leaves. Anyway, I was saying marriage isn't exactly something that's on my mind, but for some reason when I thought about decorating the interior of a church, I felt a wedding theme would be nice and kind of a challenge for me to put together. And considering the fact that we don't have endless options for interior decorations in Minecraft, I feel like I did pretty well. As I mentioned before, I made this on a diagonal, so it's kind of strange that these benches right here are facing this direction, but I kind of imagine you'd be turning your head or maybe sitting facing this way a little bit. But overall, I think this room came together really, really nicely. I also got a use for these glazed terracotta blocks that I've actually used in the interior of the castle, which I still haven't shown you guys. That's crazy. But yeah, I figure that the main large room in here would be decorated for a wedding, maybe the day after or who knows. But yeah, I mean, this is where the bride and groom would be standing. And, you know, I guess the priest would be standing here and, and, you know, having them say their vows or whatever. I've been to like two weddings in my life, okay? I don't know how it works. Coming in over here, we have the place where the priest would be standing and there was no real good way to place down one lectern because it would have to be facing one direction. So I placed down two and you know what? Religious texts are usually pretty long. So this way you can blaze through them at twice the speed. Takes a genius priest, but you know, you get a lot more red. And in here, I went with a pretty basic roof design. I also like these little armor stands. They were supposed to be something like ivory statues in the wall here. I don't know if that really comes across or if they just look like armor sets. And we got these little rooms to the side. I was meaning to put red carpet down here and boop, 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 boop. That is already looking much nicer. So imagine this when we actually have the candles in the game, because right now, I mean, the torches, I'm not really thinking it's looking all that great, but it gets the job done, so I'm really looking forward to updating this as soon as the candles come out, because the white candles on the end rods, they look amazing. Those of you who've watched my videos for a while know that candles are something I'm really excited for in the next update. So yeah, it's really going to improve all the interior capabilities. But overall, really nice, really enjoyed making this room. But this is what you guys have already seen. So let me show you guys the rest of the church. So coming this way, both of these doors lead into the towers at the front of the church, these ones out here. And what I decided to do with them, since there's no actual good way to get up into these towers up here from this area, because 
There's just not enough space. Sometimes you have to come up with clever solutions in this game. And so what I did, and these are just mirrored, by the way, they're the same, so I'm just gonna show off one. What I decided to do is when you come up here, let's see, there's a little spot to get up here and actually look at the great view. Hello, castle. Well, I mean, great view of the signpost, I guess. But yeah, then you can actually walk up here, and there's not a lot of space up here because this is right above the, the ceiling murals, so the, the glazed terracotta blocks. But you can walk up into this space, and it's the same from the other tower. And there is some hidden lighting up here in the ceiling. And I just had this walkway. I didn't really know what to do with this. I just put some flowers in here. But then you come over into this little area over here, which also has a nice view of the ocean, the mountains on this side castle again on this side very very nice and so here you can walk up this ladder or rather climb i guess and once you're up here you're actually at the top and i was sort of thinking about maybe putting a bell here i guess that would make sense you could ring the bell but it would be so dinky i don't know i i should probably do that though anyway i feel like this was a pretty creative way to get up here all the way from the other side because right below here is the ceiling above the where the preacher would stand so coming back down i actually have a basement here because you walk up as you enter the church so there's a lot of space right below here like this part is raised up a little bit and i need to sleep so after a good night's rest let me show you guys the basement over here so you just walk down the steps here and i haven't really decorated the basement because i don't really know what to put down here what do you guys think should be down here in the basement all i did is make this little pattern here for the floor and divided it into rooms. I lit it up a little bit, not that I have to, I'm in a mushroom biome, but I lit it up so that you guys would actually see this part for the video, so these lanterns aren't exactly supposed to be here, but I divided it up into a few rooms since it's diagonal and kind of an awkward shape. But once you come down here, there's actually a pair of doors and you can walk out into this area because there's not enough space to walk around the corner. So that gives us a nice little space to get out here. And at some point, I wanna turn this little spot into a lovely little hangout spot. Maybe they'll even have the wedding reception right here. That could be a fun idea. It would be a really nice view, that's for sure. So definitely tell me what I should be putting in here in the basement because I really want to put something in here so that there's more to explore in all of these interiors. And in fact, I would like to decorate every single interior in this world. I mean, I've gotten a great head start. I'd say probably half of the interiors are decorated already. But if you guys like this episode and like seeing interiors, I could definitely dedicate a lot of time to decorating every single house in this area. And... It's even true that half the castle isn't interior decorated yet, so if you guys want to see me tackle the interiors for this castle and give you a tour of the already existing interior, definitely let me know. But guys, right now, we have some pressing matters to attend to because two episodes ago, I asked you guys what we should name our little fox friend over here, and since last episode was the 24-hour episode, I didn't have time to name him, but I looked through you guys' suggestions and Luke Pachi actually left a suggestion. I hope I didn't butcher your name, Luke. It sounds Italian, so I hope I said it right. But Luke suggested that we call the fox Finnegan. I looked up the meaning for Finnegan and it's actually Gaelic Irish for fair haired. And I feel like that is uh, pretty fitting because he's a fox and he is beautiful and fair haired and just look at him right there so we need to find Finnegan a nice little home so tell me what you guys think we should do for him should we make him a little cave a little hut a little house somewhere uh just just give any suggestions and that would be appreciated thank you and speaking of the 24 hour episode if you guys did not watch it it's actually in this world so i got tons done including the mountain as i mentioned before and a lot of this forest so if you guys haven't checked that out yet definitely do and for those of you who've watched this video all the way to the end here as always you're the champ and i appreciate your existence i know this video came out a little bit short but it has been full holiday mode here in the antler boy household so i'm happy i got this video out in time but if you enjoyed this video definitely leave it a like it helps me out a ton and leave a comment what you would like to see in this world because i am receptive to answers even though i have tons of plans it's always nice to see what you guys would like to see but for now ladies and gentlemen I am out of time, so until we see each other next time. Ooh! <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that wasn't very skillfully done. Have a good one. 
I just came back here to collect all my stuff, and I just realized that Finnegan is gonna be, uh... Finnegan's holding my sword, isn't he? Let's see if tossing him a carrot will do the trick, because they usually prefer food. Yes, okay, it was my axe. Awesome. <laughs> that would have been rough to lose. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye, Finnegan.